jobs in SQL often fail on network access. One of the reasons for that is privileges. Now, the most common mistake that is encountered within SQL Server, particularly in the Asian side, is why the job fails. Now, a lot of people make a very, let's say, basic mistake. Now, you see, one of the problems is the assumption that people make. Now, the first assumption here is because I'm using a domain admin account, I must have access to the network share. But what they're forgetting is the network share isn't being accessed by them. It's being accessed by the SQL server. And therefore, you have to ask the question, does the SQL server have access? Now, in our example, the SQL server is running under the local account, which means it's the local server that's trying to access it. Now let's look at how we resolve that by changing the permissions on the share. So first of all, we're going to look at our relatively nondescript message that if you look a little closer, tells you that the SQL Server account, in this case, the machine account, is the one that doesn't have access. Now this is quite often where people get confused because they see a job owned by and then an account run by and they're not sure which one they're actually using. So it's actually the first one where it says executed as. And on the other screen we can see that it's running under a local machine account. So we're going to go to the share that we're trying to access and we're going to do something which is add the machine account. Now remember in this case that machine accounts are usually followed by a dollar sign so make sure that you enter the dollar sign at the end. You don't have to, it will try to work it out by itself but not always 100% so it's best to do it. And now we're going to quickly rerun the job to check that the permissions have taken effect. And there you have it. The job is completed, everything's fine, permissions are correct.